and the Dabrinic channel is back. And wow, what a difference. I asked for you guys' help to help Steve out. And Steve is very happy. He went out and he wanted me to give a big shout out to Alan and everybody else that has supported the work. He is grateful for what you guys have done. You guys have pulled through and much appreciated. Anybody else that feels the urge and wants to help out, please feel free to do that. And here's some video today from Lake Oroville. And Steve went up there and he got plenty of video of the lake. And I have more to show later in the video as well and he said that he's looking forward to going to Shasta here in a little while sometime in April so that's only a few days away so I'm not sure what day he's going to be up there but he plans on getting plenty of video up there as well and he really appreciates it I do as well and let's continue to roll we are going to roll right out to windy.com like we always do we're going to be looking at the next three days and you can see California is getting ready for another storm here and you can see that there's going to be plenty of rain up here in Trinity, and they really need it. They really need some over here, and they definitely need some down here where it's going to be dry. Like my friends over in Havasu, you're going to be dry, and Vegas is going to be dry over the next three days. But you guys really need some rain, and actually there is possibly some rain in the forecast coming. Not a whole lot, but anything's better than nothing, because you guys are still in drought, and we're going to be talking about that here in a little bit. But we're going to scoot into Lake Oroville like we always do, and they're talking about 205, and we're going to go to the GF because I just prefer that model and actually believe it or not the GFS the next three days is more aggressive for a change over the European let's go back the Europeans talking about 207 the GFS is talking about 2.61 so we'll see which one wins out but I have to hand it to the GFS they have been killing it all winter long they have been spot on so we're going to start using this more than the European model the European model is the first one that pops up on windy.com so you're talking about 1.77 down south of Bear Valley, just to the northeast of Groveland. The Cerro Gordo mine, he's like, you forgot about me? Like, I don't always forget about you. You're the only one that asked for that. But hey, there you go. 0 0.09 in the next three. We're going to go to the next 10 and check that out. And you're going to get 0 0.48 there at the Cerro Gordo mine. And the Europeans calling for 0 0.86. So once again, they're being more aggressive. Good news for Lake Mead. This isn't a Lake Mead update, but check this out over here. 1.23. So this is fantastic for Lake Mead as well. And we can Continue to roll back towards California here and look at over here we're gonna go back to the GFS and once again you can see the Europeans being way aggressive 4.58 inches of precipitation is a pretty good amount of rain and I'm sure this is all new snow I forgot to do that yesterday and I had to go back and do it I will not do that today 40 inches of new snow coming here in there like they need it we go to the snow depth and you can see that there's 48 inches still there in the mountains now some people say that these numbers are way off I'm not sure I don't know where else to get that if anybody knows where I can get actual real numbers for the mountains that would be fantastic other than windy.com we go back out to the rain accumulation here and you can see up here Lake Shasta up here you're talking about 4.79 and then over here by Trinity 4.81 so Trinity definitely needs it they are way down we talked about that yesterday we will go back and revisit that here in a little bit we didn't talk about Folsom last night and we're going to talk about new Bullard's bar you're talking about 3.84 so they're going to get quite a bit of precipitation as well and then Folsom down here they're talking about along the American River there they're talking about three inches up in the mountains and all that new snow as well so 22 more inches to add on to that this is going to be cold even you Steve in Yuba City looks like you might get a little snow you'll have to film that for me if you get it that would be fantastic 1.15 we continue to roll on out and you can see that all the way down here, even all the way down, going to get some. Even over by Kingman over here, they are talking about 1.4. And Havasu's even possibly going to get some snow. Sorry to break it to you, Supercharged. I hope it doesn't snow. I know how much you hate it. <laughs> but look over here by Las Vegas is possibly going to get some snow as well. Las Vegas could possibly get an inch and just to the east of there in the mountains there, 4.1. And look over here, just over here by Lake Mead, just a little ways out, 4.6 inches of snow. Good Good news they said that Utah actually has broken a record on snow amount so we went from drought incredible amounts of snow Oregon up here they are in severe drought so they definitely could use some precipitation as well so we'll be watching that we will be watching this very carefully let's continue to roll on I got plenty to talk about tonight we are gonna go to tropical tidbits next and that's where we're heading right now and here we are at Tropical Tidbits, and you can see that there's a nice low pressure that 
really scoots far south and then it kind of creeps back up and then turns into this massive low over Illinois and then you got another like dirty low that kicking up here just kind of taking its time and it's going where are 240 hours out and it turns into a big low and then you got another dirty system and 107 millibars just not much and then it stays rain but you can see that the storms are kind of getting fewer and farther in between as we get in closer so we could possibly be coming out of the wet season finally hopefully they they actually need it to come out some farmers are flooding their fields out and they actually got the governor to actually allow them to do this and one guy I read an article said he was an innovator that did it first once they went back and studied it they realized that how good it replenished the the groundwater underneath they're trying to get more farmers on board so if you're a farmer take note to what this guy is doing because he's really doing a good thing if you're in a floodplain you might as well just let your stuff flood out replenish your aquifers that way if there's a ton of dry time like there has been then you will be in good shape and we'll definitely enjoy that so let's continue to roll on and we are going to go to this video is from Steve as we go out to Lake Oroville next here we are at Lake Oroville's water level and you can see like I said yesterday Yesterday, they're actually allowing it to rise slightly they're letting just a little less water out than what's coming in so you can see that it's really not climbing much and it kind of goes back and forth we were up at the 1400 hour mark by 0.1 and then we came back down 0.1 and now we're back up 0.1 so if that makes any sense we went from 856.90 at 1300 hours down to 856.89 at 1500 hours and your current water level is 856.90 so you can see it kind of fluctuating back and forth they kind of just holding the lake steady allowing what's coming in to go out and there is really plenty of snowpack up ahead so those of you who are worried that they're not going to allow the lake to come up to full pool or pretty close to it you're worrying for no reason there's plenty of snow up there as I just showed and all that water's got to melt and it's going to fill up they're kind of keeping it right around the 856 mark 857 mark it will get all the way up and they're not mismanaging the water just so you're aware this is just what they do they actually have to follow in compliance with the government and the government tells them what to do it's not like they can just do it nilly willy the army corps of engineer when it comes right down to it tells them how much water they can release they're actually in charge of it because that's part of the government and the army corps of engineers has the final say on all rivers in the united states when it comes right down to it so even though california owns oroville dam they still have to fall in compliance with the federal government and the federal government ultimately has the say in what goes on there so let's continue to roll on down you can see that rain in inches is 32.91 and now we're going to go out to the graph for Lake Oroville that I made I have made one more today as well this is 2021 2022 and this today and we continue to roll on here and you can see that it's above 856 like I just said and the water level currently at Lake Oroville is 856.90 feet Sunday March 26 2023 at 3 p.m. the level is 43.11 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday this thing's up a 0.04 feet and we're going to roll over to Lake Folsom next. Lake Folsom's water level 2021 2022 and then today's level Lake Folsom's water level. The water level at Lake Folsom is currently 43.65 feet MSL Sunday March 26 2023 at 3 p.m. the level is 32.35 feet below full pool of 466 and changes since yesterday this thing has come down 0.01 as it showed on the graph and let's roll out to Lake Shasta next here we are at Lake Shasta and you can see this thing is actually on the rise still still allowing it to come up you got 3,635,262 storage acre feet in it currently your outflows are 1,021 your inflows are 13,490 and your current water level at least at the three o'clock hour was 1034.03 nothing has come in at the four o'clock hour yet so we continue to roll on here and we will go check 
the line graph. I have not had a chance to update all my line graphs for Shasta yet, so we'll be getting back to that soon, and we'll continue to roll on there now. Here we are at Lake Shasta, and you can see how much this thing has really come up. It's starting to slow down just a tad. More rain and coming, though. The water level is currently 1,034.03. Sunday, March 26, 2023, at 3 p.m., the level is 32.97 feet below full pool of 1,060. Changes since yesterday, this thing's really come up. 0 0.7 one and I want to talk about the drought while I'm here as well you can see that you're still in drought in the north and to the south and to the east in California centrals looking pretty good and uh, this will change as each time it rains it gets better and better and eventually we will be completely out of the drought this will probably all be yellow if not white a lot of this will be more white and less of this I don't know about the corner here it probably still will be in severe drought they haven't received a lot of precipitation up here but that could change you just never know let's continue to roll on now I got one more thing to show you here and that'll be the end of this video and let's go there now here we are at the current reservoirs you can see 80 percent for Shasta 80 82 for Oroville, New Bullard's bar is 83, Folsom 66, Kamich is 81%, New Malone's is 56, Don Pedro is 88, Trinity 37. So you have a long way to go. Hopefully things will change soon. There's really nothing other than New Malone's being at 56. New Malone's and Trinity are really the lowest in the state. Everything else is 60 or above, so that's fantastic news. And Diamond Valley's at 60, Aesthetic is 60 as well. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you on the next one. God bless.